outskirts of the Turkish Empire, far from Europe, Shulamit Rupin founded the first music conservatory in Palestine. Throughout time, the conservatory has been an inseparable part of the history of the Jewish state and contributed greatly to the cultural and musical development of Israel. Through the gates of Ron Shulamit have come some of the finest musicians of our times. Among them, Yitzhak Perlman, Shlomo Mintz, Pina Zaltzman, and many others. These artists have influenced and are still influencing the musical and cultural life of the world. Conservatorium Shulamit was the highest uh, level of music in, uh, in Palestine then. אני נעשיתי בין 96, והקונסרבטוריום שלי בערך 90 שנה. קונסרבטוריום בירושלים היום זה קונסרבטוריום למופת. The whole history of the Ron Shulamit Conservatory is extraordinary. Sometimes stronger, sometimes weaker, but always without end, like the life of the Jews throughout the generations. And these lives gave the world great people of art and culture beyond measure. The motivation and the concentrated talent that is found here is immense. From 450 students, at least half come out of the conservatory as practicing professional musicians. My daughters learned in the conservatorium in Harnoff, Ron Shulamit. So they learned one thing which they wouldn't be able to learn anywhere else. They learned that through working on one thing during half a year, or during even a, period, a longer period of three quarters of a year, that this piece of music is improving with time. Well, I think uh, uh, this conservatory is not just one of the Israeli conservators. It is a very long, very interesting sto story. They try to emphasize a, a more integral approach to, to teaching, a more holistic one. Emphasis will be, as I see, an, an integration of all these elements. The method of teaching in the Ron Shulamit Conservatory allows children with disabilities to learn and understand music. In the conservatory, we have two very special departments. We have a department that conducts music therapy for children and young adults with special needs. And what's unique is not just that it's a very excellent department of excellent therapists working together, but they it's very rare to have music therapy inside a conservatory. When children come for therapy, it's usually to some kind of therapeutic place for problematic children. In this case, they come to a conservatory, which is a regular conservatory, and there's no stigma of coming to a special place. They're coming to a place that's just a place to learn music, and they receive their therapy there. The Ron Shulamit Conservatory opened its gates 90 years ago and through time, thousands of students have come through these gates. We can never know where the next great maestro will grow, but we have to maintain the necessary conditions in which a maestro can grow and blossom. <laughs> <laughs>